This conference will now be recorded. This conference will now be recorded. I can go on, please. You want to say something, yeah? Is it like, um, like, um, a country? Hmm? Like, like if, if, if it was like a big country, like, um, like Turkey or something, and um, there's different parts of Turkey, like that other part of Turkey, they separate they separate themselves from the from Turkey, and they make like a uh, own country. Would, would that be um independent? Yes, it can be independent. In the, guys, keep in your mind, independence can gain uh, either willingly or just what, by means of the struggle. Yes. So if you are, let's say, uh, for example, let's say. Um, you 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 live together with other nation, and uh, one day you decide to to be independent. But uh, for example, uh, Croatia and Serbia, yes, they had with the same state, which is also known as the Yugoslavia. But at certain point, they decided to be independent state. The same nations they decided to be independent state, yes. So they didn't fight against uh, each other. But when it comes to Azerbaijan. So Azerbaijan leaves the Russia's occupation more than the years occupied uh, Azerbaijan at the beginning of 19th century, yes. Uh Julistan and Turkmen Chaitrit, if you remember. So later uh we, we decided to be independent because uh, the nation cannot live under the occupation of other nation forever. The one day they, they most probably they most probably will try to be independent, yes. Uh, so Russia did not allow us to be independent, and then, uh, of course, um, they we, we declared our independence. But let's let's see how. But why? Uh, we, how could we? How could we do? How could we declare our independence? Although Russia did not allow us. Yes. But today we will learn that. Okay. Uh, you know, Azerbaijan and historical Azerbaijan consisted of two parts, Southern Azerbaijan and Northern Azerbaijan. Uh, the Northern part of Azerbaijan, of course, uh, was occupied by Russia in as a result of Russia-Iran wars in 19th century years. And we we if we lived under the remained under the Russian control uh, until 1918 when we declared our independence. But what created conditions for Azerbaijani nation to, to get independence, to gain independence? First, in, uh, sorry, in, yes, in 1917, uh, the evolution happened in Russia. Uh, this revolution to change the government in Russia. The revolution actually was through the uh, absolute monarchy. I mean that king regime. Yes, they they were no longer one person ruling the Russian government. Okay, uh, it created condition. It created a favorable condition for Azerbaijani people uh, to be independent because the, everyone thought that new government in Russia after the revolution would allow uh, each nation living in the Russia under the Russian control. To gain in their independence. Yes. However, new government, although it was mm, it came to power after the revolution, they did not allow the, the people, the nations living in Russia, to be independent. Yes. And uh, even even in order to uh, in order to prevent the independence of nations such as Azerbaijanis, yes. Georgians within the Russian Empire, they they are I mean the Russian government. Uh, uh, how can I say? Uh, organized tried uh, organized the massacre against Azerbaijanis by means of Armenians. They helped Armenians and they organized a crime, say, genocide against us in 1918. Yes, so Armenians in Baku. They committed a massacre against Azerbaijanis, and uh, so after that, it became clear that Russia will not allow us to get independence. Yes, uh, even 
the, we, we understood that as Azerbaijan intellectuals, Azerbaijan intelligentsia, yes, they realized that uh, there was not any way to gain independence. Yes, the only way to guarantee security and Azerbaijanis, yes, was what? What do you think was? What was the only way to guarantee the security and safety of Azerbaijanis? Independence, yes? Am I right? Why, guys? Why do you think? Because the Russian government, together with Armenians, they organized the genocide against us in, in 1918. So, of course, we the, our people realized that there was only way to, to guarantee security of Azerbaijanis, it was independence. Yes? Did you understand? Can I, can I ask a question? Yes, of course. Who started the genocide with Azerbaijan? So let me to explain again. Uh, when revolution happened in Russia in 1917, yes. Uh, the previous government was overthrown, overthrown in Russia. The previous government, which uh, had occupied Azerbaijan territories, yes. And this government was of a new government and uh, created hope among the nations that Russia would allow us to be independent. Yes? Do you understand this part? Yes, I do. But they didn't allow us to be independent, yes? And even they helped Armenians, they, they helped Armenians, they gave weapons to Armenians to commit genocide against us. What was the purpose? The purpose was to prevent Azerbaijanis to gain independence. Yes, and they committed the genocide in Baku and in other parts of Azerbaijan in 1918. And we understood that, our intellectuals understood and realized that the only way to secure our um, people's safety and yes, uh, to guarantee the security of the people was to, to create independent state. Yes, that's why in 1918, 1918, to stop the Armenian genocide, we decided to create a new state, new state, independent state. At that time, guys, why well, you may ask me a question, but could, couldn't Russia stop us to gain independence, to declare our independence? No, they didn't, they couldn't do it because it was a time Russia was very weak and our Azerbaijan was supported by Turkey. I mean, Ottoman Empire and uh, Russia was very big. New government could not um, could not uh, manage uh, to stop the nations to gain independence because new government was very weak. Yes, uh, Russia had the lost war in the First World War, and that's why. So it was the new government was very weak overall. Yes, that's why they couldn't stop us. So in 1918. Uh, 28 May, Azerbaijan intellectuals, Azerbaijan politic politicians, they created the independent state. Uh, 28 May 1918. Okay, did you understand what time? Um, 1918, 28 May, which is also known as. Uh, in the uh, Republican Day in Azerbaijan. We usually celebrate this day as a day of independence. Oh, sorry, uh, Republican Day. First Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, 28 May. Um, did Azer uh -huh. did yes, um, Azerbaijan become independent mm -hmm. because of Armenia? Not only because of Armenia, because uh, the Russian Russian Empire, Russian Empire, who, which uh, controlled Azerbaijan territories more than hundred years, they discriminated us. Yes, yeah? they discriminated us. They didn't allow us to use our own language. Uh, okay, to use our our own resources. That's why at some point when Russia revolution happened in Russia, we took advantage of this situation. Yes, because Russia was weak after the revolution. His new government was not able to uh, to control country properly, and uh, we took advantage of this situation. We wanted to be independent, but Russia, they they were weak. Yes, that's why they used Armenians. 
to stop us. They they committed genocide in Baku against Azerbaijanis to stop our independence. Yes. Uh, however, overall, they, they of course, even they use Armenians against us. Yes, they couldn't stop us. They, we, at the end of story, we we declared our independence in 1918, 28 May. Okay, look at chat, please. Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Okay. Repo okay. Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, 18, 28 May. So we usually celebrate this day as a day of Republican Day. First Democratic Republic was uh, founded in Azerbaijan, and so, it, the, guys, keep in your mind. Until that time, the, we have never had any state under the name of Azerbaijan. For example, we had a state, let's say, Safavid Empire, or Manne Manne Kingdom. Yes, Atropat in Albania. We have covered these topics. Yes, Akon Karagoyan. Yes, but we have never had uh, any state under the name of Azerbaijan. It was the first state uh, carrying the name of, bearing the name of Azerbaijan, yes, the first democratic republic. Uh, I will explain why it was called democratic republic, which elements of democracy uh, existed in Azerbaijan democratic republic, yes. Guys, keep in your mind, this independent democratic republic of Azerbaijan only existed two years. In 1920, it was again occupied by Russia, Bolshevik Russia, yes, R Soviet Union. So most probably you have you have heard about that Soviet Union, yes, USSR. And let's talk about how this was state was established. In the first guys, and uh, you know Baku, uh, Baku was under the control of still was under the control of Russians and Armenians. They were committing crime against us. So the main purpose of independent Azerbaijan state was to stop Armenians and to liberate Baku from the Armenians and Russians occupation. Yes. So we didn't have a capital city at that time. Baku was under the control of Armenians and uh, Russians. So we declared our independence in Tbilisi, Tbilisi in Georgia. Do you understand? The first capital city was the Tbilisi, yes. Then we moved the capital city to where? Genza. From the Tbilisi to Genza. The Genza became the first capital city of Azerbaijan, Democratic Republic. Yes. Why, guys, Genza was chosen as a capital city, do you think? Because Baku was controlled by Russians and Armenians. Uh, yeah, okay. I was going to say that. Yes, Russia and Armenia. Baku was controlled by Armenia. The main purpose of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, first task was what? To liberate Baku from the Armenians and Russians occupation. It was a main task. So we didn't have army at the beginning. We didn't have any proper government, actually. Nothing that the capital city was even was a new agenda, yes. The only, only, uh, the only thing was uh, good for us, Turkish Republic. I mean, the Ottoman Empire supported us. They gave, we signed a military agreement with them, and they came to our uh, help. Yes. So, did you understand? The, so, the, you see, this is the map of uh, first Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. As we can see, even. Uh, it was bigger than modern Azerbaijan, yes? Am I right? For example, this part, look. This this was even bigger than modern Azerbaijan, look. This part, Armenian territories, included to the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Look, but this part, Joytelik, Zengezur, Western Zengezur, yes, which are the Armenian territories today, yes. Even Iran was Azerbaijan territory at that time. However, we willingly gave the Iran to Armenians to, to make the Iran uh, as a capital city of their newly established state. Okay. Uh, so, uh, did you understand this part, guys? Azerbaijan was bigger than modern Azerbaijan at that time, yes? Can you observe this fact? Yes? or no yes okay so um, 
the, the I have put the main people, Azerbaijan intellectuals, who at, played important role in the formation of first Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. For example, Mehmet Emre Rasulzadeh, Ali Merdan Bey Topçubaşu, Fethali Khan Khoyski, Nasip Bey Yusupeli, those people were uh, important, um, important uh, politicians, let's say, who participated in the formation of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Because of those people, we, we became independent state, guys. They said that it is important to create independent state if we want to uh, preserve our identity, yes, ethnic identity. Uh, we need to be independent if we want to uh, survive. You know, otherwise, Russia, together with Armenia, will, will, will what? Destroy our nation, let's say, or, uh, okay? So those people. So first, guys, as a point is called democratic republic, because this state, guys, was a parliamentary republic. Parliamentary meaning that it had a parliament, yes, uh, chosen by the people, elected by the people. They represented people, yes. No one people ruled the country, but the parliament ruled the country, and that's why it's called Democratic Republic. Even guys, it is the first republic in the in one of the in one of the first country in the world history, uh, not only eastern part of the world, but also in the world history. It was the, one of the first country gave women um, uh, to, to, to elect or to be elected in the election process, yes? Uh, suffrage, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? For example, let's take the Euro Western European countries, yes? For example, um, uh, the, the, the France gave women uh, the voting uh, the vo to, to, to be uh, the right to, to elect or to be elected in election campaign even after Azerbaijan, yes, guys. Uh, but Azerbaijan was the first country uh, without any making any, any making any discrimination against the nations. All the people living in Azerbaijan had a right to be elected or to elect. Mm, uh, so in the elect electoral process, let's say, yes, election process. So uh, the freedom of the freedom of speech, uh, some important liberties, and uh, of, of course, all of them uh, provided to the people in democratic Azerbaijan Republic. First, for example, this is the Declaration of Independent Azerbaijan. Look, what, what does it say? Look, Azerbaijan is fully sovereign state. It consists of the southern and eastern part of the southern Caucasus under the authority of Azerbaijan people. So it is resolved that the form of the government independent Azerbaijan state is a democratic republic. Uh, Jalil, can you please uh, read the third, third statement and explain? The Azerbaijani me. democratic republic is determined to establish friendly relations with all especially with the neighboring nations and states yeah so do you understand what does it mean it shows that how was yeah, uh, yeah. So it so means they that like they want to be friends mm -hmm. with like the um, neighboring nations and states yeah the fourth statement is also interesting it shows that how democratic republic what how democracy um, uh, was actually uh, was applied in the first democratic republic in Azerbaijan, yes. The democracy, as a Malik, can you please read the, third, the fourth one, fourth statement? It's declaration of Azerbaijan is Azerbaijan independence of Azerbaijan Republic, yes. Malik, the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Oh, the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic guarantees to all its citizens without its borders full civil and political political rights regardless mm -hmm. of ethnic origin, religion, class, profession, or sex. Yeah, do you understand what does it mean? Can you please yeah. explain? Okay, go on, please. It means the, the, um, the, the like, guarantees are... Uh, no, listen, right it means that it, 
doesn't matter what is your nationality, everyone living in Azerbaijan territory had the same rights, okay? They were equal. Doesn't matter what, what even Armenians had the same right with Azerbaijani people within the Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. Yes, it shows how democracy, how democratic republic was Azerbaijan. Yes, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that fourth one, Ayhan. Uh, fourth, no, not to, let me to the first one, the second one, please. It is it's resolved that. It is, re it is resolved that the form of government of the independent in the of the independent Azerbaijan state is a democratic republic. Yes, you you see even in the declaration of independence, the official document, yes, of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was saying that uh, Azerbaijan was a democratic republic. How do you define democracy in this document? And Azerbaijan, it says that Azerbaijan guarantees to all its citizens within the borders uh, have the same rights, without their, regardless, their, it, uh, regardless of their ethnic origin, religion, class, professional, let's say, yes. You see how democratic, how democracy appeared in Azerbaijan in the first democratic time. Okay, did you understand Declaration of Azerbaijan uh, in Republic, Democratic, first Azerbaijan Democratic Republic? So, so as, uh, as I mentioned before, it was the first democracy in the East. In the East, in the Muslim world, it was the first democratic republic in the Eastern world. Um, so, of course, it was democracy. Why? Because it didn't only provide the same rights to the people, but also it had the democratic parliament. Democratic parliament. Parliament consisted of different nations, representative of different nations, even included Armenians. So we had allowed Armenians to, to have a representative in the parliament. Okay? But they didn't participate in the parliament, guys. They didn't accept it, actually. So again, the first capital city of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic was Genza. Then we liberated Baku from the um, Russians and Armenians and moved the capital city to Baku. Yes, in September 1918. Yes, we we had the two capital cities. First one was Genza because of the occupation of Baku by the Russians and Armenians, and then we liberated Baku and moved the capital city to Baku. So these two guys, as you see are the most important uh, Azerbaijani intellectuals who played important role in the formation of Azerbaijan democratic republic. On the one, the one hand, Mehmed Amir Asuzadeh, this one, you look, this one, Mehmed Amir Asuzadeh, he was the head of national council, yes, and Fetele Khan Khoisky, he was the head of, uh, let's say, the prime, prime minister, let's say, yes. Mehmed Amir Asuzadeh was the head of National Council, like the Parliament, yes. And Fatal Khan Khosk was the Prime Minister of Azerbaijan Democratic Republic, yes. Okay, so let's now watch a video. Baku under the occupation of Azerbaijan. Let me to summarize this part. And I think we have uh, four slides. Yeah, guys, the, as I mentioned before, when uh, when Azerbaijan became independent, one of the main tasks was to liberate Baku from the Bolshevik national occupation. I mean, Armenians and Russians. Yes, because in Baku, they were committing crime against Azerbaijanis. So, yes, um, it without Baku, Azerbaijan was not, uh, Azerbaijan could not be a unified state because Baku was the main industrial city yes the the, the the main city oil city and without baku we couldn't be fully independent state that's why it was the main task to liberate baku from the russian and armenian occupation yes that's why with the help of by the help of ottoman i mean at modern turkey azerbaijan democratic republic um, started the military campaign they together liberated baku in 1918 september 15 Nuru Pasha, who was the lead, who was the military commander of Turkish army, helped Azerbaijani soldiers to liberate Baku. So Baku was liberated, and Azerbaijan became the fully independent state. Did you understand? 
who helped us in the liberation of Baku guys from the Russians Ottomans. and Armenians? Ottoman, the Ottoman Turks, Turks. Yes. especially Nur Pasha guys, who was um, who was the military commander of the Turkish army. They came to our help according to the military agreement signed between us, 1918. So, together in September 15, we usually celebrate this day as a victory day with the Armenian and Russians. September 15, 1918, Baku, and we, we, after the liberation of Baku, we moved capital city to the Baku. Okay, liberation of Baku. So, what is it? No, not this one. Important decision taken by it. guys. Interestingly, after gaining independence, Azerbaijan government, Democratic Republic, adopted some important dec decisions. For example, we, we adopted the first flag. Uh, you see, guys, our first flag was very similar to, to the modern Turkish Republic's flag, yes? Has it the flag changed uh, since then? Yes, yes, of course. First one was the, this flag. It was the, the I mean, same. The Azerbaijani flag. It's. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand. Can you please repeat your question? Oh, wait. Is the thing. Is the red one an Azerbaijani flag? Yes. First one was the red flag, yes. Oh, I the... thought that was the Turkish flag. Yes. Do you know why we, we ad adopted the same flag with the Turkey? Because Isn't it a we... bit different? Because, like, the star is a bit different. Yes. I think, yeah, the number of. Oh, uh, some I'm um, happy call number of stars are different. On the Turkish it. flag, it's five a five pointed star. Yes, we always use eight eight stars, if I'm not mistaken. Eight. Mm. Yeah. You are right. Excellent observation. Isn't that okay. the uh, the is Islamic? Yes, like, of course. It symbolizes the Islam religion. You are right. Uh, so, guys, this. Later, after approximately approximately four or five months after the Turkish army left Azerbaijan territories because they were defeated in the First World War, they were forced to leave the Azerbaijan territories. Azerbaijan adopted the second flag in order to show that it wasn't there, dependent on Turkey. We, we were in independent state. So that's why we adopted a new flag. Uh, that so the, this is the uh, the the flag that we use today okay the blue color red and green color so the first one you you see that you you know what 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 are the meaning of uh, the colors yes no need to repeat it okay uh the new tree can I, um, new... Can I ask a question yeah of course go on please did the um is the modern day as a junk flag? Yes, it, of course. Um, yes. But yes. first one is a modern Turkish flag. It was very similar to the modern Turkish flag. Yeah. Um, it's still like the Azerbaijan flag right now. Um, mm -hmm. When it was uh, made, did it, um, was it original or did they like use like or did, did they take like inspiration from France? From where? France, because a lot of country um, took uh, uh, took inspiration from France because they had the French. No, we, we didn't. We didn't because the for example. I'm pretty sure France, it's a completely different flag. Yes, because you know why, guys. Uh, the similar nations usually use the same colors in their flags. For example. The Eastern Slavics, such as Serbia, Croatia, yes, Bosnia, yes, they almost use the same colors. But when it comes to Azerbaijan, Turkey, let's say yes, we are Muslim countries. We usually just use the same colors. It depends on the regions. It depends on the nationality. Yes, same nations usually. Most Muslim countries usually um, have like red or green in them. Yes, the only blue color, only blue color color uh, for example is a specific for the Turkish people and because blue is a symbol of Turk Turkic uh, tribes let's say the green color symbolizes the Islam religion and the red color symbolizes what you can see it uh, sometimes it, there, there are different explanations for the red color red color but most probably we use it as a symbol of democracy or so the blue color as a 
thinking of democracy or something like that. Okay, it's different from the people to, to the people, from the nation to the nation. Uh, for example, uh, the Netherlands and the uh, France flag, if I'm not mistaken, is similar, or the Russian flag is similar. And, uh, but it doesn't make sense. And so, there, of course, they are Christians. They can use some color in their flag, the similar colors. Okay, the first parliament started to its activity in 1918, December 7. I have already talked about it in the first democratic parliament. And uh, guys, uh, the, the first democratic parliament um, was the first parliamentary republic in the East. So they approximately 18 other 80 Azerbaijanis participated in the parliament. And the head of the parliament was Ali Merdan by Topchubashov, who died in France after the Russian occupation. That's all for today. I'll continue the topic uh, the next week because uh, Azerbaijan democracy is a huge topic and we cannot uh, talk about all of these things in the one lesson. Let's watch, let's watch one video about that. Of course, Azerbaijan Democratic Republic. And uh, please watch the video uh, carefully because you will understand topic very well when you watch it. Where was the individual democratic republic? Yes, this one. Okay, guys, please watch video, please. And you have approximately, let me to look, look at it. Eight minutes, yes, it's eight minutes. Okay, watch it, please.
I'm finished. Okay, good. What's interesting? Do you understand? Uh, did you take any new, new, let's say, idea from the video, which I didn't talk? Oh uh, no, I think you pretty much said everything apart from the last part when uh, Azerbaijan was uh, in, like invaded by Russia once again. Mm hmm I mean, like. Okay, what so about what about the parliament? What, how, what, 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 what do you understand democracy in Azerbaijan? Why it was called them? Oh, because everyone had a free say, so like everyone could voice their opinion. Yeah, but it, it only existed two years, and Russia occupied Azerbaijan in 1920, Bolshevik Russia. So we we under, remained under Russia's control again more than 70 years. 70 years Soviet Union occupied as well. Okay, good. Uh, I can and Malik, have you finished? If you have finished, can you please tell me uh, what, who, how Azerbaijan liberated? The, the Baku in 1918 September. Uh, let me to share. Hi, Han, Malaj, do you hear me? Yeah. 
Okay, can you please tell me what you understand from the video? Uh, just what Jalu said. Okay. So, I'll, I'll share crossword in Google Classroom. Can you please take crossword and let me to get where was it? Okay. Yes, this one. Can you please answer these questions? Is it on the classroom? Yes, it's in the classroom as well. It hasn't appeared yet. Net one. Yeah, yeah, I haven't shared the bad idea. Zoom in the Bank Republic. Yes. Ah, yes, it's already here. Okay. When you finish, please let me know because we have only 10, 12 minutes and uh, we need to answer the questions as well. Aikhan and Malaj, are you doing? Yes. Ah, okay, good. Yeah. Uh, for the th third question, is it Azerbaijani? Uh, of course. Which, can you please tell me which question? The official language? Yeah. Of Adair, of course. Was, uh, it was Azerbaijani Turkic language. Okay. I don't, I can't no. wait because the classroom doesn't open. Doesn't open, you, but you can use, yeah. you, can, yeah, you can, you can my screen. I can't find it anymore. I searched up Google Classroom, but it's not coming up. Why? This is I my, this is my code, Google Classroom code. Can you please join again? I, I know. I, I'm, I'm on your class, but I can't find Google Classroom. Let me to find it. No, it's not that. I just can't find Google Classroom. Can you share okay. the thing on the screen? Yes, yes, let me do. Thank you.
I'm stuck on number five. Five? Uh, what's the Azerbaijan parliament was... No. There's something mistake here. Don't no, remember. five. Five, yeah, the five. Mm, five was... Azerbaijan parliament was consisted of... Was, was consisted of, actually, 80 Azerbaijanis and representative of other nations according to the proportionate population. The answer should be Azerbaijan parliament. The first Azerbaijan parliament the first parliament of the Democratic Republic. There's some mistake in the sentence. No, it's the thing says, um, number five says, was to consist of 80 Azerbaijanis. Yes, and parliament. Oh, parliament. is the answer parliament? Yes, of course. The representatives usually are in parliament. They usually represent the people. I'm stuck on number four. Four? Yeah. Who provided military assistance to Azerbaijan to liberate Baku? Which country, which state supported us, military support? Was it Turkey? Yeah, of course, Ottoman Empire at that time. It was called Ottoman Empire. But can I write Turkey? Yes, you can. But okay. the, the, the correct answer is Ottoman, actually. We, they are the same, but the name of the state at that time was Ottoman Empire. Okay, thank you. Have you finished? Not yet. No, okay, no worries. Um, I done seven, six, three, two, five, four. That, that's the ones I've done. Oh, okay, good. So I need... Um... So I need two more to answer. Okay, let's start. The first one, uh, the question number one, Azerbaijan Is and it... Turkish... Uh -huh. Liberated. Baku. Yes, Baku was under the occupation of Bolshevik and Dashnak groups, and why? I mean, the Armenians and the Russians. So Baku, have you have you written the same answer, guys? I like I can. I don't know. I'm sorry. Baku. Say that again. Yeah. Yeah. Baku. Okay. My next question two. Um, Ganja. 
Yes, Kenja, you are right. Kenja was yes. the first capital to go there, and then I had what three official uh, language of art. Was it Russian? Russian. No, come on, it was independent state. How could they use the Russian language? Yes, Russian language was not restricted. It was a second language because people lived under Russian occupation for a long time. They was speaking in Russian language. It was problem, but the official language was Azerbaijani Turkish language, of course, because it was the, our language, the nation of Azerbaijan. Uh, okay, good. So question number um, four, Ayhan. Uh, sorry, uh, Ayhan, no, uh, Zel. Um, is it uh, Ottomans? The yeah, Ottoman Turks, yes. But what about question number five? Me as well. Can I question do number five? Can I do it? Can I? Uh, I answered it. Number five. Huh? Parliament. Was it Parliament? Parliament. Yeah. It shows that the parliament not only consists of Azerbaijanis, but also other nations represented here, yes? So, for example, even Armenians, we invited Armenians to participate in the parliament. However, they refused. They refused and they didn't accept the independence of Azerbaijan, actually. Russia, well, they didn't participate. Okay. Mm. Why did they refuse? Uh, because, you know, we, we had a conflict with them, Armenians, Armenians minority in Azerbaijan, uh, especially in Karabakh. As well as in Baku, they, we, uh, you, you know, they, they had committed genocide against us. Our relation was not good with the Armenians. And that's why I see, that's why they didn't want yeah, to. Yeah, but that's like, why. don't they get like free speech in Azerbaijan? Like, what, what's bad about that? Yes, yes, but, but maybe they didn't want to accept the independence of Azerbaijan. If they would, would accept to participate in parliament, so it means that they they agreed that Azerbaijan was independent. Okay. They didn't want Azerbaijan independent state, maybe. Um, the, because the Russians, uh, uh, Russians, they didn't also participate in the parliament. Russians thought that Azerbaijan belonged to the Russian Empire, so they didn't participate as well. Participation in the parliament meant that they accepted the independence of Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan's independence, but they didn't. That's why maybe okay. Armenia was on the Russian side in that parliament. So guys, so question number six, the first Azerbaijan flag was only consisted of which color? The first flag. Russian. Which the first flag was very similar to Turkish flag. Red. It was only the red color, yes, red, yes. yes. So question number seven, are there guaranteed to all its citizens within its borders feel full, feel civil rights, political rights, regardless of their uh, ethnic origin, yes? Ethnic origin, their religion, yes. It didn't it didn't matter whether they are Christians or the Muslims, yes. Everyone were equal. And the last question, which was the first democratic republic in Turk and Islamic world, it was Azerbaijan, yes. How many years Azerbaijan Democratic Republic existed, guys? Two years. <laughs> Yes, only two years, but they did very, uh, they, they just gave very important decisions, they accepted very important decisions, and, and uh, of course, so it was even bigger than modern Azerbaijan Republic, and however, Russia occupied Azerbaijan again. So I'll talk about Azerbaijan's participation in, uh, Azerbaijan's uh, efforts to uh, to be able to be recognized by international community as independent state. In the next lesson, I'll talk about it and how Azerbaijan delegation since, uh, went to the uh, Paris uh, in order to, to be recognized by the uh, Western countries as a state. Okay, I'll talk about it in the next lesson. Okay, if you have any question, go on, please. Do you have any question? No. No? Okay. I hope you understood topic. Mm, yes. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. 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 See you bye -bye. next week. Bye. 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 bye.